What's going on everybody? My name is Darian and here on the YouTube platform, I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. My channel, we focus on fragrances and fashion. So if you mess with your boy, I'm gonna have you looking good and smelling absolutely fantastic. So if that sounds interesting to you, I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And take another moment, if you don't mind, and hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I upload new content and it comes directly to your feed, hopefully. Now guys, on today's video, I will be reviewing the latest release from the Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, line of fragrances. This one was released last year, the year of 2020, and the fragrance is La Mel Le Parfum. So this is the latest iteration uh, from the La Mal line of fragrances, and I'm gonna be discussing uh, that fragrance today. I'm going to be kind of, you know, telling you guys a little bit more about my impressions, what it smells like, and kind of, you know, where it kind of stands in, uh, in relation to the other releases from this line that I have in my collection. So, if you guys want to hear about that, you know how we get down. Sit back, relax, get you a cup of coffee. That's like, you don't have to do that. That's just my thing. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. First, we're gonna start with the presentation of this fragrance, and this is it right here. I did get this in a, like a gift set. So it came uh, with the, more of a, a box. It came in a box. Uh, of course, like you normally see with the gift sets, that highly resembles the actual uh, presentation of if you buy it without the gift set. But this is what the bottle looks like. This time, it reminds me a lot of the presentation from uh, Ultramail, except this one, this time is black and gold. You have the gold cap. Of course, the body of the fragrance is in a hue of black. So, of course, very similar to the other releases from the uh, LaMelle line. But of course, again, the, they just changed the colors this time. This is an EDP concentration. It does have the little stopper there that you have to remove before spraying. I'm going to spray, uh, waste the spray for you guys. Well, it's not really wasting the spray because I want to tell you guys about the fragrance, of course. So there's a few sprays. But again, guys, if you've seen the presentation on the other uh, fragrances, then, you know, you know what this one looks like. It is just in a different color. Again, the black and gold. All right, now guys, this fragrance is an EDP concentration Eau de Parfum. It does come in three different sizes. This is the four, 4.2 ounce. This is the 4.2 ounce, which uh, retails for $103. You have a 2.5 that retails for 82. And then you have the 6.7 ounce, the big bottle that retails for $128. So those are the three sizes that this fragrance comes in. And of course it's relatively new still, so it's a little bit harder to find it on discounted sites. Although I found this one, <clears throat> there was only one left in the gift set. I did find it in the gift set and I got a good deal on it for 89 bucks. So, you know, go figure, you know, the, sometimes the things that you find when searching for a fragrance, you'll be surprised sometimes. I haven't really seen it on any other discounted sites, but somehow I was able to find it uh, on this site. I'll research the site a little bit more um, to make sure that I kind of get an idea of maybe they get returns or something at this site. I'm not sure yet, but I'll research a little bit more and tell you guys a little bit more about it. But that's where I got mine from. I paid $89 for this, and it also came with a 10 mil uh, sample um, of this fragrance as well. But that's a little bit about, you know, the overall presentation and a little bit more information about, you know, pricing and things of that nature. Next, let's get into a little bit more about what this fragrance smells like. All right, so as it relates to this fragrance and the overall smell, to me, this fragrance really reminds me of two other fragrances from the Lamal line. Now, let me show you what I have quickly in my Lamal or Lamal, however you want to <laughs> pronounce it, collection. I have the Popeye Eau Fraiche, which I absolutely love this. I'm going to hold on and cherish this bottle for as long as I can because now this fragrance is fetching a pretty penny 
uh, on gray market sites, you're looking at anywhere from 120 up to almost $300 that people are trying to sell this bottle for. Uh, it's not worth that, but it is really good, so I have that one. Uh, the only one I have in a little bit smaller bottle is the uh, Ultra Male. I have a little bit left of the original. It's down to here, but I do have a little bit left. But what I did was, instead of purchasing this same bottle again, I went and purchased the Christmas edition this year because, of course, you guys know I love red and white. So I have this beautiful red and white bottle right here. It's, this, it's the original Lamel, but it's just in a different presentation. Uh, I am uh, looking to, uh, I think there's one more out there that I want to get. The, this fragrance comes in a lot of different like special uh, presentations. There's an aviator presentation out there, but it's all just the same as the original. But I do want to get the uh, In the Navy. I do want to pick that up. I'm going to pick that up soon. But anyway, these are the ones that I have in my collection. And what this fragrance to me is a combination of is the original and the old fresh the original and the old fresh now i don't get i've seen some people say that they were, it reminds me of them of this one can't really argue that point too much but to me again it is more a combination of these two uh iterations of the fragrance than the ultra male now what you get in the opening of this fragrance you get cardamom now, lavender is listed as a heart note, but very soon after the fragrance is sprayed, I get the mid notes that kind of come in really, really quickly, which is the lavender and the iris. So the opening is very similar to the original Lamal, but what is missing is that freshness. It's not as fresh as the original because the original, it is missing the mint. You know that the mint and the bergamot and the original gave it kind of a bright, a little bit more of a bright quality that is not present in this one. Now, I get it because this is supposed to be a darker version of uh, the original, so I'm cool with that. Uh, I think it was a great job because it reminds you of the original, but it's, it's darker, and that's what you would expect from a, uh, a Le Parfum concentration uh, of this fragrance, comparatively speaking to the original. So, great job there. Uh, they were still able to capture the essence of the original but make this a little bit more of a darker fragrance so i do like that now as the fragrance gets into the dry down to me guys it really especially on the after about that hour and an hour hour and a half mark it really turns into this to me it really turns into uh the old fresh version of this fragrance to me because on the dry down is when you really get uh what really ties all these fragrances together which is that kind of sandalwood tonka bean dry down that's something that all of these fragrances really have in common uh, but it really reminds me of this one because there's something in this one that kind of gives me that fresh uh almost uh, salty uh kind of vibe i know that this one has aldehydes in it and this one does not have aldehydes but there's something kind of salty and fresh about this one on the dry down so again, the dry down to me is very reminiscent of what you get really from the first two, uh, the first two fragrances that I mentioned, the original as well as the Eau Fraiche, but more of the Eau Fraiche. And the listed notes again for the Eau Fraiche version, and I get the vanilla, the vanilla, the sandalwood, <clears throat> and the uh, tonka bean, which is same notes from similar notes, I would say, to the original. The original did have a few other notes in there like amber, uh, to give it a little bit more complexity than the Eau Fraiche, but this one does remind me a lot of the Eau Fraiche version on the dry down, although they're a little bit vague with the notes. They list vanilla, and then it says oriental and woody notes, but I'm definitely picking up the vanilla, some sandalwood, and also some tonka bean on the dry down of this one as well. And there's a little bit of a spiciness and freshness, like I said, almost salty nuance that's coming from something, although I'm not sure what it is, but again, very similar to the Eau Fraiche on the dry down. Now, as far as the um, actual uh, performance of this fragrance, I really enjoyed it. It performed like a EDP, lay perform concentration in my opinion should. It projects really, really well for the first two, two and a half hours. I got really good projection. Although after that two and a half, two, two and a half hour mark, it started to sit closer to my skin. It was fine. Within like an arm's length of me, I could really still pick it up. Uh, so it had good performance uh, as far as the overall longevity of the fragrance. I got seven and a half, a little bit over eight hours of complete longevity. 
uh, while wearing this scent. So I'm definitely pleased with the performance. And overall, I really like this fragrance overall. To me, it's what a Le Parfum a version of an original fragrance should be about. There's enough slight differences there to differentiate it from any of the other releases, but it does have nuances of uh, the other fragrances that I mentioned. So it remains and uh, maintains, I should say, the DNA and the, um, the essence of the original fragrance, which is something that I really, really like, while giving us a slightly different twist, especially with the use of iris in this. This was in a little bit more of a powdery uh, nature than you get from the other releases, which is the one thing to me that kind of differentiates this from the other fragrances from this line. Overall, it's something that I would say if you have the others, it's not redundant to have this because it does give you something a little bit different, especially again, like I said, with the use of iris in this. It's not as fresh as the other fragrances from the house from this line, but it's not supposed to be. And I really, really like that. That iris gives this a different dimension, so it's not redundant to pick this up. Overall, it's one that I recommend on a scale of one to 10. I give this one a solid eight and a half because it is a good release from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoy uh, my impressions or this review of the latest release of, from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, the LaMelle line we're talking about, Le Parfum. As always, I appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos because of course, I know, could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think can use this information or find me entertaining, because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So, until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.